our history, we can learn how we can move our country or our community forward. And I think that's a very important aspect of this project is that for the first time Africans are able to tell their own stories through photography. We knew from the very beginning that we wanted to bring this exhibit back to Benin so that the community could share in this rich local history. It is a collection of photographs made by Chief Solomon Osagi Alonge, who for 50 years was the photographer for the Oba of Benin. Grace-filled images, stories, expression, this exhibition includes not only the photography, but extraordinary works of Benin art. The Elange Project has evolved over 10 years. It started when Dr. Flora Kaplan from New York University contacted the National Museum of African Art with a collection of photographs that Chief Esso Alonge had given her to look for an exhibition in the United States. It was Dr. Kaplan who did the initial research in Benin City with the Royal Court and got to know Solomon Alonge back in the 1980s. Once we had the collection, we set about immediately to preserve the glass plate negatives and to digitize the collection so that we could have an exhibition. After the exhibition in Washington DC came down, then the Smithsonian gifted the digitalized copies of Esso Alonge's holdings, which are on display right now. And after that, the renovation was a huge challenge, and the Smithsonian assisted us in reaching out to a group known as the Bini Committee, comprising individuals, lovers of the arts, patrons of the arts. So they came and contributed funds to the renovation. The challenge of funding also was met by the Edo State Government, especially the governor himself, Mr. Godwin Obaseki. A friend called me and told me about the work uh, that the Smithsonian was contemplating at that point in time. Subsequently, a committee was set up, uh, the Benin Committee, to facilitate the work. The Benin Committee did the heavy lifting, training, planning, so quite a lot of detailed work. So really, for Nigeria, I think this was a very unique synergy of people and groups who were involved in bringing uh, Benin arts and culture for the enjoyment uh, of the local community. It is important to have the Alunga exhibit in Benin City because it will help us create new audiences, helping us to create new relationships as between the museum and members of the public and the community. I saw a news item on NTA where I saw my mother's photograph on display. So I came to the National Museum here to find out what happened that my mother's photograph was on display. When I got here, lo and behold, there was my mother's photograph. A grand size photograph on display. I was moved to tears because my mother lives on in the museum. I was told this was done by Smithsonian. I appreciate what they're doing. I appreciate this. The family appreciates it. We're glad. Thank you. The Elange project has changed the way people think about museums in Benin. It's not just a place where you have artifacts under glass. It's become more of a living museum. 
you can see what Smithsonian has done now in Benin City. They have drawn attention to the museum again. Not only in Benin City, but in Nigeria. We believe that the exhibit will assist us to engage the community much better than how we have been doing. It will give us a new perspective about how exhibitions work. This project will be a precursor. If we could start with these photographs, it will set a basis and a foundation as to how to bring back Benin works to be exhibited in Benin City. It also serves to rekindle the interest of the new generation and also future generations in the art. It's so important to know about our past, you know. You must know about your past to be able to walk into your future.